Hello! Good to be back! I am Christy Brooks. I am a registered dietitian and a level one uh, CrossFit trainer. And I have worked with the first Run for God last year on chapter six and seven, the nutrition part. At the end of the year, or at the, at the end of your sessions, Amanda had come and asked me if I would come up with a nutrition one for this year, 2014. So, what Amanda didn't know was that the Lord had kind of told me about nine years ago that I was going to be writing a book someday, and I kind of ran like Jonah ran, and uh, I knew that um, this was the Lord's way of saying, it's time, it's time. So anyway, I'm not a writer. I don't look at myself like a writer. Um, I just put my thoughts on random sheets of paper and <laughs> and on, on Facebook too. So and I, I do some blogging, but I don't consider myself a writer. So I'm definitely going to have to have some editing um, to take place when the final product does come out. Which brings to mind the final product. Your book that you're getting um, is not the actual final product. You're going through the rough draft. And um, I want your input through this first round of the rough draft. Um, I've got the title Unpacking Old Luggage, but it won't end up being the actual title when it goes to the publishing company. Um, this was just a company that bound it together in book form just for you guys. So I had a few extra copies sent to me for my family because they wanted to, to read it too. So anyway, um, this basically is kind of my spiritual journey. Uh, what the Lord has brought me through, through all the different experiences and things that I had taken or I'd, I had gone in in the past, my deep valleys, uh, even the mountaintops. So anyway, it lots of things that um, that I felt like you know I needed to share. Um, I've been doing a nutrition or teaching nutrition as a dietitian for almost 20 years now, I guess, and um, you know. It gets to the point to where I'm, I end up becoming more of 90% counselor, 10% um, educator. And um, a lot of times, if you really think about it, majority of the time, people um, don't eat just to eat. Um, majority of the time, people eat to kind of suffocate um, voids or feelings or things that they've carried in from their past. Um, and sometimes we don't even realize it um, until, you know, something comes up and then all of a sudden you want to you want to go in and grab up that food um, and I myself I, I grew up through <laughs> through this type of stuff so um, I can totally relate to you and that that's why the Lord has shown me some scripture and has helped open my eyes and peeled off some veils of of some things that um, I thought was truth um, which really wasn't truth so anyway I really feel like it's um, on my heart to to share that with you because I don't want to just cover nutrition with you. I really feel like we need to get to the deeper part of the matter. I feel like the Lord wants to get to the deeper part of the matter. If there is a deeper part of the matter. So anyway, that, that's why this book is designed to have spiritual nutrition one week while you're doing your physical activity. And then you have nutrition the following week. Um, and that will be strictly the nutrition part. Okay, now we're going to look at the table of contents. Uh, the pages are not numbered. They were numbered when I sent them off, but somehow in the process of them communicating with me multiple times and changing things multiple times, uh, they've left the numbering off. So, start with table of contents and at the bottom put in uh, page number three because the introduction starts at page number four. Go on and read through the introduction when you get do get a chance. It just kind of gives you a brief idea on where I'm coming from. Um, and some of you might be able to relate to, to my journey. Um, some of you might not. I hope you don't. But um, it, it kind of gives you a better understanding of where I'm coming from and what the Lord has really shown me through the years. If you notice that the how it's set up, chapter 1, is on self-abuse which deals with a little bit of burdens and addictions um, everything from a scriptural standpoint and chapter number two starts with nutrition and it dives in with the barriers and hurdles food diary meal plan and portions food groups and healthy guidelines it alternates the chapters chapter one will be covered the new the spiritual perspective will be covered when you are doing a exercise week the nutrition week, it'll be just nutrition. 
And each week that we do cover nutrition, it will actually build upon that previous week, or I'm sorry, the previous time we talked about nutrition. So you're slowly building yourself up while you're breaking down old habits and um, building up wonderful new ones along your journey. So anyway, at the bottom, let's move on a little further. Your appendix is listed at the bottom, page 125. Um, again, you'll have to go back and number those. But your hurdles and barriers are one, your food diary, your measurements chart, your sample 1400 calorie menu, and your recipes. Let's go on and flip back to the appendix now, and we're going to cover that. Okay, now at the appendix. At the appendix to the right there, you have barriers and hurdles. These are very common that people tend to um, have to conquer in order to succeed where they're going. So I have a plan for you here. What are you going to do with these that, that are listed here? Are there any constraints or barriers to your plan? And what can you do to make it easier to reach your goal? And when do you plan to have this mastered? This is things that you need to work on on a daily basis. But only pick one or two of these things to work on a week. And then slowly work on them. The more you work on it, the more you think about it as you're working through um, your day-to-day -day things and preparing and all that, it's, it's definitely going to get you, um, it's not going to look like a diet per se, it's a lifestyle change, which really it should be. It's a lifestyle change. It shouldn't be anything about um, diets or anything. Diets don't last. So just a couple of those things is cleaning the junk out of your pantry. Um, planning ahead, you know, for grocery shopping, maybe planning ahead for cooking or food preparation, healthy substitutions and recipes, exercising three to five days a week, um, time out for God and de-stressing, relaxing, sleeping at least seven hours or more, staying within your portion size, drinking at least half your body weight um, in water daily. Whoop, I just noticed a typo there. Drinking at least half of your body weight daily that should be in water. Um, and fiber is the next one. Each meal contains raw, lightly steamed, or whole grain. You know, make sure you add that to it. Eat within two hours upon rising, and then again every four to six hours if you're going to eat three meals a day. Uh, if you're going to eat more than three meals a day, then it will be a little bit less than that. Um, any food addictions that you might need to break? Chocolate. Uh, support system. You need at least three areas of support. So your group is one support. Pick a significant other to be your support. Friends um, somewhere else. Maybe you're meeting somebody at the gym. That's another support. Here's another idea. You choose a certain healthy cookbook along with one or two other friends. You pick different recipes out of that cookbook. You double or triple up that recipe. Double if you have two friends. If it's just one and another friend. Or triple up if you have two friends joining you. And do that on a certain day of the week, just say Sunday, and then you share those other dishes where they can already have it fixed throughout the week, or they could freeze it and pull it out whenever they want to because they might be on the go with fall, or who knows, something going on, and it's so much easier if they know that they have a very healthy recipe um, dish that's planned for them by the time they get home. Um, so anyway, just that's a good support system. Um, emotional eating hurdles. You know, that, that's something you definitely want to look into. Um, developing a mindset of eating just for fuel. And there's a, a space there where you can fill in anything else that you feel like that is still a hurdle for you to get to the point to where you can succeed. You've got to think about that and work on it. The next page there, this is the food diary. You are welcome to copy this off and make as many copies as you want. Fill it in each week. This is actually um, two days and so you'll have to have several copies for a week. Turn them in at the end of the week to one designated person in your group to make you accountable and make sure you're doing it. Um, or get on My Fitness Pal and uh, join all your buddies together so that you can all be in on one as a support group and you can see if you're logging in on My Fitness Pal. It's an easy app on your phone. So that's another route that you can go. I do want to point out at the bottom that I really want you to dive into. That would be documenting your water. Okay, half your body weight at least in water. Uh, your exercise time and type. You know, putting it in black and white. Ugh, that's kind of hard for some people. Some people don't like doing it. it. Takes too much time. Research has shown over and over again 
that when you put it in black and white, it makes you more aware of what you're really putting in your body. Um, and success is just like so much quicker if you put it down in writing and document it. Uh, the next one is the number of hours of sleep. We're going to talk about that in one of our, our chapters, but you definitely want to try to shoot for at least seven hours of sleep. Your feelings, um, very important. You tune in to your triggers. What's, you know, is it your mood? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? Are you stressed? Stressed is usually the big one. So what are your feelings? You know, define your triggers so that we can get to the root of why you have these triggers. We're going to have to work on that. Um, maybe behavior changes to work towards. Eat in front of the TV all the time at night time, not really paying a you know attention to how much you're eating or what you're eating. And the last one down here is your non-food reward. You definitely need to pamper yourself, whether it be long hot bath, going out to the movies with friends, um, a weekend with the guy, you know, all, all you guys get together, or a weekend with the girls. Whatever it is that is non-food, you know. Go and enjoy and pamper yourself because you're tearing down old habits while you're building up new ones. You've got to give yourself grace in this area because it takes a lot of effort, conscious effort, to rip down the old habits. And keep in mind as you're building up these new ones and you're adding little bits on each week, it's a process. It's a journey. So enjoy the journey. Don't get all stressed out about it. There is no you know, extreme cookie cutter about it. Just enjoy the ride and then let the Lord just peel off layers and show things to you and gain your strength from Him. So definitely document it. The next one is the progress chart. I want you guys to weigh and measure yourself tonight. If you can, buddy up with somebody if you have a hard time doing some of these measurements. Um, don't measure and weigh again for at least four weeks, four to six weeks. So there's dates there where you can write it down. You have a goal there where you can write down your goals by the date um, or down the little gray chart here and then write your dates across the top. Definitely ditch the scales after tonight. I do not want anybody stepping their foot on scales. Scales is the enemy. It is the root of a lot of attitudes that start out for the day. It's the root of a lot of, I give up. You know, it's one of those things where it just, it, it sends us into a turmoil by a stinking little number on a scale. So ditch those suckers. Start paying attention to how your pants are fitting. Pay attention to how you're feeling. Pay attention to your energy level. There's so much that you should start paying attention to besides a number. Numbers don't mean anything. You could be gaining muscle mass while you're decreasing fat mass and it's not going to show up on the scale but it's going to show up on your waistline. So ditch them. Just ditch them. Do yourself a favor and ditch them. The next few pages is example menu for a 1400 calorie meal plan. Just an example. You don't have to follow it. Just an example but it does go right along with the meal plans I have provided for you in chapter two. So that kind of helps, but keep in mind this is 1400 calories. Some people might be on 1800 calories, some people might be on 12, 1200 calories. So this is just an example. And some of these actually have recipes that requires recipe on this meal. If you keep on flipping, you will find the recipes are also provided um, through there too. These recipes are also on my website www.yweightlifestyle.com that's w-e-i-g-h-t y weight lifestyle there's lots of recipes on there by the way the very back this one very back sheet is actually a letter from me to you and it's just really my way of saying thank you and I'm excited for this journey that we're gonna have together um, and keep in mind it is, is a journey. It's a process. It is definitely a process. Even Jesus says, I will make you fishers of men. Not, boom, fishers of men. I will make you. So, don't forget that. We'll make. But, it also has at the bottom a little survey. This side and the back side of each chapter. If you will please do me a favor. Um, since this is the rough draft form, of the beginning of whatever the Lord has in mind. 
if you would at the end of each week go in and fill out you know for chapter number one or chapter number two whatever week you're on so that you don't wait till chapter 12 and you go back and think oh what did I feel like um, what were my thoughts on chapter number one so if you do ch do it each week that would really help at the end of your sessions at the end of the 12 weeks Tyann and Amanda will collect those and they will send them to me so that I can use your input and revamp it even further and add to what I've already been adding to. I'm sure I'm going to add a lot of things within the next 12 weeks as we go through this. So, and if there's something else that you want to add that's not on here, please do not hesitate to email me. Okay, I am so open and I will take all kinds of criticism. It does not matter to me. I just feel like that this is just all in the Lord's doing. So, let me know. Let me know. I'm open. I love, love to hear in hearts and, and hearts being shared too. Well, this about wraps it up for week one. And oh, I'm so excited for our journey together. So, you guys, um, you know, going to keep you guys in my prayer. And um, I'm, I'm so excited. And I know you're going to be blessed throughout this journey in more ways than one. So, uh, again, it's a journey. It's a journey. It's a process. So um, get plenty of sleep, plenty of water, take a good multivitamin, take some krill oil, or take some fish oil capsules. If you take fish oil capsules, you're going to need about, um, for every 1,000 milligrams of the fish oil capsule, you'll need one of those for every 15 pounds of body weight. Um, for me, that can add up. So, uh, for some little bitty petite people, it won't add up quick. So, um, if you might want to take some krill, that's K-R-I-L-L, -L, and you can take one-fifth of krill oil than what you have to official. So, if that's something else you might want to invest in. Make sure your multivitamin does have um, good vitamin D in it as well. Uh, if you get into the sick and the flu season, vitamin C and zinc are the, always the big go-to's, but always drink some good old um, green tea, freshly brewed. Make sure you drink it within two hours, otherwise the antioxidants go south. Um, plenty of apple cider vinegar with mother, and that's the stuff at the bottom. And I'm going to be exposing you guys to a couple things too, or if you ever having questions um, throughout this whole time, be sure to email me, and I'll make sure I put it on the on the videos and, and answer you guys' questions. So. Uh, I want to help everybody out. Um, so, and I'm sure other people might have the same questions you have. So, don't be afraid to ask for sure. So, anyway, I'm excited. And I guess I will see you guys next week. Through you, I can do.